Now, the thing is that there's a few concepts that you got to understand. And if you understand those concepts, then you'll get bonus marks in the exam. The first thing I'm going to explain is the map scale. Now, as, you, as we all know, a map had to be made smaller in order to fit it onto the piece of paper or on the whiteboard. So the first scale I'm going to talk about is the line scale or the linear scale that we normally see over here um, somewhere in the corner of the map or on the map key. Now that is what it looks like. You'll see there's a straight line and then some numbers there at the top naught 100, 200, 300 kilometers and at the bottom naught 100, 200 and 300 miles. As you can see here, I just drew the line scale over on this on the whiteboard over here. And um, like I said, 100, 200, 300, 400 and 500 kilometers. I forgot to put the unit of measurement in there. Now, what this scale tells you is that from here to here on your map is 100 kilometers. So even if this is, let's say, one centimeter on your map, then in real life, it would be a hundred kilometers. So let's make it a bit practical, a bit more practical here. Let's say, for example, you've got a map. Let's say this is your map. And this is your scale right there at the top. So let's say, for example, there's a place here at point A and uh, you must measure the distance from point A all the way to point B. Now what you are going to do is really simple. You are now going to use your ruler. Now for argument's sake, let's say this, these are centimeters. Then you're going to take your ruler. Um, I don't have a, obviously I don't have a ruler um, with these measurements here. So I'm going to improvise a bit. I'm going to draw my ruler over here. Okay, so this is one centimeter, two centimeters, three and four and five centimeters. Nought is here, one, two, three, four and five is right there. Then it means that from point A to point B, it is roughly, let's make it 4.5 centimeters. Now if your teacher asks you to calculate the distance or to find the, the real distance um, from between point A and point B, then you simply measure it and then you go and look on the scale. Okay, so I've got 4.5 centimeters, then this is 1 centimeter, 2 centimeters, 3 centimeters, 4, but we measured 4.5, so it must be halfway in between. And we know that um, 100 divided by 2 is 50. So it's 400 plus that 50, and so you'll get 450 kilometers. Now this is how easy it is. We started off by saying there's a certain place A and there's a point and a place B. And um, your teacher is asking you to give the real distance or the distance in reality between these two places. Now as soon as you get a question like that where you have to say what the real distance is, remember you are going to use the scale. Now this scale might not necessarily be measured in centimeters. It could be some other random little distance and that is where you have to improvise a bit. That is where you can take a piece of paper and simply put the piece of paper just below the scale and measure the distances as you see it here on your piece of paper and then you go to the place where you have to calculate the distance you put your piece of paper let's say this is your piece of paper and you made your measurements as it is over there and then you can 
easily measure the real distance between point A and point B. So in the next lesson I'll be explaining the ratio scale and how to use the ratio scale calculate to calculate the real distance. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. You never know, these videos might be a lifesaver before your next test or exam. Thank you for tuning in.